Hey, I'm Saurav and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make glow effect like this. So at first, make a drawing on paper, whatever you wish to draw. In my case, I'm drawing my waifu 02. She is an anime character. By the way guys, as you can see, I have already drawn the outlines and now I'm refining it with fine liner. If you don't have fine liner, then don't worry, use dark sharp pencil or black pen. Guys, I'm speeding the process to save time because here, I'm assuming that you already know how to do outline doubling. So guys, outline is done and now I am shading the shadows and darker areas to add some 3D effect and here, I also colored her clothes black with fine liner because they were supposed to be dark. Guys, I have a tip for you. For these kind of drawings, while shading, leave those area bright or do light shading wherever you are planning to add glowing effect because it will give your drawing astonishing look after adding glow. So guys, we have finished the drawing part. Sorry, I did. Now it is time to add some amazing glow effect and it has to be amazing for two reasons. First one, because she is my 02 and second one, you guys deserve good content. So click a clear picture of your drawing or you can also use scanner to scan your drawing. It's totally up to you. But guys, picture should be clear. After that, transfer it in your PC. Guys, I am using Adobe Photoshop for adding glow. By the way, it can also be done in your smartphone. There are some really good applications that can fulfill your purpose like IBIS Paint X. So import the drawing in your software. I am making it on scale canvas. After that, made some adjustments like brightness, contrast and exposure to make the canvas dark. Because in dark canvas, glow effect will send out marvelously. Guys, I am starting with her beautiful red horns and sharp eyes. I am giving them dark red glow, but they are not emitting too much light. Here I am using saturated vibrant colors. By the way, for adding more glow or highlight, change the brush mode from normal to color dodge. In this mode, with every repeat strokes, brush gets brighter and brighter, but don't use it too much on same spot because it makes the color burn, as you can see. Guys, secondary source of light is done. Now I am going to draw primary source. Here I have decided to draw Sakura flower petals as primary source of light because her silky purplish pink hair resembles the color of Sakura. But to be honest, I was intended to draw her hair pink even though it was monochrome drawing. So I took the advantage of Sakura to give them pink color essence. Guys, you know what? Her pink hair looks great with her red alluring horns. So petals are done, now it's time to add magic in this artwork. First of all, make a solid layer and select the color for glow, whichever color you want to give them for glowing effect. But I would suggest the color of glow should be same as the color of light source. After selecting the color, hit OK. Then change the layer mode, normal to linear dodge. After that, single click on layer mask and invert it white to black by pressing Ctrl plus I. Then take a pressure sensitive soft brush and select white brush. By the way guys, white color means filled and black color means empty or transparent. Here I'm filling the empty space with glow. That's why I'm using white brush. Guys, same goes for layer mask. If mask is white, it means mask is filled. And if mask is black, that means mask is empty or transparent. That's why I inverted the layer mask white to black. And now I'm filling it with glow using white soft brush. Guys, you can also increase or decrease the flow and opacity of brush according to your preference. And from now on, you're ready to add glow anyhow you want. So guys, artwork is almost done. Now it's time to add some highlights using color dodge effect. By the way, I have already told you how to apply color dodge effect when I was painting her beautiful eyes and horns. So artwork is done. Now enjoy the reveal. Boom. 